check the position of patrol ship XL-19, Lieutenant. Lieutenant! Lieutenant 90, wake up! Uh, oh, gee, I, I, I dropped off, sir. I'll say you did. For the fifth time today. I, I'm sorry, sir. It, uh, it, it won't happen again. You're darn right it won't. Well, I, I guess I'm not myself today, Commander. What with the exams and all, I'm... You knuckle-headed apology for a spaceman. How do you expect to become a bachelor of space if you can't stay awake? Exams? Ha! Huh. When I was going through the practical designing course, I managed to keep my eyes open and pass my exams with honors. But you've got to be alert, on the ball. Have your eyes open for 60 minutes every hour. That's what makes a good controller. But you'll never make one. Well? Sorry, sir. It's this drawing I've had to do for the exams. Drawing? Ha <laughs> ha! Who ever heard of a space radar scanner that could foretell the future? We're not running a rest home for retired Mercurian Melitosauruses. Get out of here and get some sleep. You're wasting my time. But, sir, I... Don't answer back, Lieutenant. I've given you an order. Now get out of here. I'm sorry, Commander Zero, sir. morning. The sun's shining and I feel on top of the world. It's the sort of day that everything good happens. Sounds like the mailman's called. Hey, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. And in recognition of your outstanding contribution to the technical progress of the World Space Patrol by your revolutionary radar apparatus design, to be used throughout the universe, you are forthwith promoted to the rank of Space General. General. General 90. Space General 90. Yippee! I'm a general. I'm a general. I'm a G-E-N-E-R-A-L. Yippee! Oh, what a beautiful day. Sort of day when everything goes right. Wilbur, you should have been on duty an hour ago. Okay, my love. I'm just about to get dressed. Hmm, I bet that nice Lieutenant 90 is at work already. Why can't you be alert and punctual like him? Huh. He gets in early so he can catch up on his sleep. Why can't I be like him? Huh. Lieutenant 90. <laughs> I'll tell you why I'm not like him. Because I don't want to be like him. That's why. You're shouting, dear. I am not shouting. Your breakfast is ready. I don't want any breakfast. I just want coffee. Now stop beefing and leave me alone. Ah, 
I don't know what's got into your father in the mornings, Jonathan. He sure is uppity. Can I have his breakfast, Mom? I heard him say he didn't want it. Yes, yeah, son, you can have it. I haven't got time. I wouldn't like to keep Lieutenant 90 waiting. He's on the ball. Why can't I be like him? Boy, is he in a sour mood today. Hmm, I wouldn't like to be in Lieutenant Knight's shoes. Good morning, Lieutenant. Uh, I mean, uh, General Knighty, sir. I've installed your new radar apparatus, sir. Thank you, Jock. Uh, you've done a good job. Guess you've been working all night, huh? Well, uh, yes, sir. Uh, I've been at it pretty hard. Uh, I was due to start my vacation today. Oh, vacation, huh? And you've earned it, Jack. Oh, uh, say, the rocket for the holiday planet Olympus left two hours ago. Yes, sir, I can. You just leave it to me. I'll arrange transport, the best available. You're a good man, Jack. A credit to the World Space Patrol. Oh, it's very good of you to say so, sir. Uh, we your permission, I'll get my luggage together. Of course, of course, of course. Carry on, and... Uh, don't worry about a thing. Leave it all to me. Now, where's Commander Zero? Mm-hmm-hmm. Late again. Good morning, Commander Zero. Huh! We've got a lot of work to do today, Lieutenant 90. These computers have to be regoverned and synchronized. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Lieutenant 90, I'm talking to you. Will you answer me? I've noticed that you're getting very lax in discipline lately. It's gotta... <laughs> but, but, uh, but, uh, when you address me in future, Commander, say, sir. Uh, uh, um, speak up, man. I, I, I was just, uh, uh, thinking aloud, sir. Well, don't think, man. Just do as you're told. I'll do the thinking. Get Colonel Zodiac up here fast. There's a mission I want him to carry out. You want me to do what? Now, look here, Lieutenant. I mean, General. Are you questioning my orders, Zodiac? Well, with respect, sir, I'm not a cab driver or a messenger boy. I'm a patrol astronaut. And Fireball XL-5 is a patrol ship, not a holiday bus. You are questioning my orders. I'd be mighty careful if I were you, Zodiac. Now just do as you're told. Transport Jock to Olympus. And do it now. Fireball XL-5, free of Earth's atmosphere, General, Sir. Roger, Zero. I'll take over now. Get on with those computers and do the check properly. At the double and no mistake. Yes, Sir. How about some coffee, Venus? General 90's left a kind of dry taste in my mouth. General 90 to XL-5. Come in, Zodiac. XL-5 to Space City. What can I do for you, General? Now, don't you know routine procedures, Zodiac? You're supposed to report position every two hours. Why haven't you done it? Well, now, sir, you, you know we don't keep strictly to the flight manual when it comes to routine positions. If the manual says report every two hours, then by Mars, you just do that. Do I make myself clear, Colonel? Yes, General 90, sir. Perfectly. We're flying course 2940 Green, bound for Olympus. All is going according to flight schedule. Well, that's better. Carry on. Space City, over and out. Oh, boy. Promotion's really gone to his head. How do you like that guy, Matt? That must be the 79th time he's called. I'll be glad when this trip's over. The General's backseat driving will send me crazy. Space City to XL-5. Two hourly schedule location check required, Colonel. But, General, I just told you what course we were on. Watch your tongue, Zodiac. You're stepping out of line again. I can't take any more of this. I think I'll arrange for a little radio breakdown. Hmm, that's strange. Zodiac's radio is cut off. 
Must be a technical fault. Uh, yeah, it uh, sometimes happens. Uh, maybe that magnetic field is interfering with the impulses. I don't need you to explain things to me, Zero. Get on with your work. You talk too much. Yes, sir. Well, it's time for space scanning. With this new radar apparatus, we have at least 90 minutes warning of danger. Are you sure that thing works, General? That's your trouble, Zero. Your ideas are dated. Acceptance of facts is one of the first lessons you should learn, if you want promotion. Red alarm, Zero. Emergency. Jump to it, man. Ask those ships for identification. What ship, sir? Those ships, Zero. Open your eyes, man. Space City to all ships in Sector 23. Identify yourselves, please. What is your mission? There's no answer, sir. I can hear that for myself, Zero. It's as I thought. Couldn't they just be sunspots? I'm telling you, they're spaceships. Hostile, too. Earth is about to be invaded. Sound the alarm, Commander. Emergency, evacuate Space City. Clear launching pads. All personnel report to emergency station. Zero! Turn those alarm sirens off. I can't hear myself think. Alert every patrol ship within the adjacent sectors to 23. We'll send a task force to wipe those invasion ships right out of space. Okay, I'll call them. If that's what you want. General. Going into orbit around planet Olympus now, Steve. Roger, Matt. Prepare to disconnect nose cone. Roger, Steve. I'll touch down and then take you to the hotel on the jetmobile, Jock. Ah, oh, that's very kind of you, Colonel. Hold tight, Jock. I'm going to give her full throttle. I can't hold it. It's a quagmire. I'm, I'm sinking. Jock, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me, Jock? I guess it won't be long. I don't stand a chance. Oh, oh my poor wee head. What a lump. Jock. Jock, get me out of here. Hopping haggises. Colonel Zodiac. Oh, what am I going to do? The, the jetmobile. There's a rope. Secure it to the machine and, and throw me the other end. Okay, Colonel. Colonel. Here, catch. Oh, okay, Jock. I've got it. Get going, Jock. Hurry, I, I'm sinking fast. are moving pretty fast, Zero. Our patrol ships are at full strength. We'll have some action from them soon, sir. Do you realize the whole of Earth is in deadly danger, Zero? I want action now. Do you hear me? No! Are you feeling better, Colonel Zodiac? Oh, you went through a nasty experience. I guess I'm okay now, Jock. Oh, and by the way, thanks. I guess you saved my life. What's wrong with these patrol ships of ours? They insist there's no alien unidentified vessels in Sector 23 bound for Earth. But the invaders are there. I can see them, so can you, Zero. Say, I, I think I've got this figured.
Now look at your fleet of invasion rockets, General. But... But... Uh, what? It, it can't be. Begging the General's pardon, sir, but it is. A belt of meteorites, perfectly harmless. But how? What, what happened to, to the invaders? Your new radar screen was out of focus, General. It made the meteorites look like spaceships. Uh, well, uh, you, you, you can learn something from this, Commander. Nothing is perfect. Now, 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 you remember that. I will, sir. And what shall I tell the task force? Uh, make them return to their uh, previous duties. That's all you have to do, Commander. On our way home. I tell you, I'm okay. Yes, 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 I know all about that, Steve. Now just you relax. You've been through a dangerous ordeal. XL-29 requesting guidance. General, sir. Oh, uh, yes, uh, uh Zero, uh, what's wrong? Well, sir, XL-29 was on its way back to Earth when you diverted the ships to take pot shots at those meteorites. Tell XL-29, uh, to proceed uh, to Earth. But they haven't enough fuel, sir. Greater A-14 to Space City Control. Request landing procedure and clearance. Stand by, A-14. Shall I give the freighter clearance, General Niney? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, they can land uh, on the uh, uh, pad one. What about XL-29, sir? Uh, twenty. Uh, what's their problem? You remember, sir, I just told you, they're out of fuel. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, well, well, uh, t um, well, uh, tell them, uh, uh, tell them uh, to, uh... May I suggest they stand by and we get a tanker to them, sir? Uh, that's quick thinking, uh, Zero. Uh, you, you, you're improving. Uh, uh, get, a, uh, get a tanker up to them. Fireball XL-5 to Space City Control. Request landing clearance. Oh, okay, uh, Commander Zero, uh, I'll take care of XL-5. Uh, you organize that fuel tanker. Roger, General. Stand by fuel tanker G for George 971. Uh, come in, XL-5. So your radio is okay now, huh? <laughs> uh, landing clearance granted. Uh, number one pass. Five seconds to go, tanker G for George. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero and go. XL-5 is coming in on number one uh, landing pad. But it can't be, General. Freighter A-14 is using that pad. Oh, well, say, and the, 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 the tanker has just been launched from the same area. Uh, what, what, what are we going to do, Commander? It's your show, General. You're the boss. They'll, they'll all collide. Commander Zero, help me. Help me! No, 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 no. Do something, C Commander Zero. Help me. Help me! We're gonna crash! I done? Help me! Commander Zero, help me! Help me! Please! nightmare. Oh, I, I've been, I've been dreaming. Steve and the others, they're okay. S Space City's okay. 
Everything's okay. It was all a dream. Yippee! Oh, boy. Gee, it's a great morning. The sun shining and... And I'm a lieutenant who has tootie nightmares. Oh, one thing's for real. I know now what Commander Zero must go through. I'd hate that responsibility. <sighs> what a beautiful day. Sort of day when everything goes right. Ah, oh, see, I was sure harsh on Lieutenant 90 yesterday. Eh, he's a good guy, really. I'll, I'll, I'll apologize. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. Oh, he was right to bawl me out. Ah, guess I'll apologize to him. Yep, it's the least I can do. He's been working real hard lately. I'll say I'm sorry. And so, Lieutenant, uh, I want you to know uh, I'm sorry for all I said yesterday. Oh, but sir, you were right to yell at me. And I'd like to apologize for my behavior yesterday. Uh, tut, 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 tut. No, 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 Lieutenant. Don't say another word. It was my fault. <laughs> I've been uh, pushing you too hard. Oh, oh, oh not, not, not at all, Commander. Will you stop interrupting me, Lieutenant? If I say it was my fault, it was my fault, understand? But it wasn't, sir. With respect, I was to blame. I'm sorry, do you hear me? I'm sorry, and that's an order. But I insist, sir. You're not in a position to insist on anything. If I'm sorry, I've got the right to say so. Well, I'm sorry, you're sorry, because I'm going to make you so sorry, you'll be sorry you were sorry. I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe in Fireball XL5. Way out in space together, compass of the sky. My heart would be a fireball, a fireball. Every time I gazed into your starry eyes We'd take the path to Jupiter And maybe very soon We'd cruise along the Milky Way And land upon the moon To a wonderland of stardust We'll zoom our way to Mars My heart would be a fireball A fireball Cause you would be my Venus of the stars 